So Dong, the theme of this conference is disruption. Um, what do you see as the next possible disruption for the Chinese economy in the short term over the next three to five years? Well, there is a big change in terms of uh, technology, especially internet-related technology. You can see that China's moving rather fast in things like uh, logistics, uh, electronic payments, etc. I guess the next major wave coming from China is in the artificial intelligence area. This is where that I think China probably will see a big breakthrough uh, in the global ranking when the AI becomes commercialized. Right, and what's the uh, big change that you've noticed recently in the habits of Chinese consumers uh, in terms of their expectations, what they want and their ambitions? Well, there's a huge demographics change in China. Uh, we all know about China's consumption. Everybody could feel about that globally uh, when you see the Chinese tourists going and buying things, right? What I see is there is a demographics change. Uh, the center of the Chinese consumer army is moving from those born in the 1950s, 60s, 70s to those born in the 1980s, 90s, and perhaps a few years later, those born in the 2000s. What would that mean? The younger generation have never seen the heydays. So if they don't see the rainy days, they don't prepare for the rainy days. They spend their last penny on the last day of the month. So these are a bunch of the American consumers holding Chinese passports. And they also feel much more confident about themselves. Unlike their fathers, happy to go to buy like an LV bag, Ferragamo shoes, the younger generations they probably prefer to have their own handmade handbag. So there are lots of changes. I think the Chinese consumption is going to be very big, not just in China, but worldwide. But if we want to tap into that trend, we need to study the younger generation. Thank you.